In this video, I'm gonna show you one of the most important plays you can have if you're a trips tight end player in Madden. This play that we're gonna be breaking down is I think kind of essential to running a good trips tight end offense, especially in Madden 23. And the reason why is because the number one route that I think we're gonna to need to be able to have in our arsenal to be effective is a deep corner route. We need some type of corner route. Corner routes, in my opinion, are going to get the best separation against man coverage. They're also really good for breaking down zone coverage. And so we're gonna show you how you can use different corner routes out of the trip side end to attack kind of the meta, what you might see uh, from a lot of people. And, and we're gonna jump into this video here. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Uh, I release new videos every single day, helping people. Uh, my goal is on the channel is just to help people get better at men, try to share tips and tricks every day. Um, that help people get better at the game. Trips tight end in Detroit really, I think, has the best corner route, um, and that is the X spot. So just gonna set a couple of audibles. We're gonna come out in X spot, but doubles in sale is really good um, as well in Madden 23. These corner routes, I think, are even better than they were this year, and the reason why is, number one, they get better man-to-man -man separation. Number two, they are able to get over the cloud flats a lot better than they did in this year, in this past year's uh, rendition of the game. Another great corner route is PA slot corner. And then obviously we have the corner route from verticals. These are all really, really important. Uh, like I said, I was going to come out in the play X spot, uh, with your trips to the wide side of the field. I do think that in Madden 23, it's going to be important to have your trips to the wide side of the field because it's going to do a better job, um, at allowing you to flood the trip side crossing routes are no longer the way to go. Um, just in my personal opinion, uh, from what I saw on the beta, they just take a long time to develop. You really need to have great protection for this to be open. So how are we gonna run X spot? Well, one of my favorite little ways to run this is seam streaks are really good. So streaking the uh, circle receiver is really good. In Madden 23, we can actually motion snap this corner, which is even better. Um, but cloud flats, just by general, if you use a quick zig or a quick smoke, they get sucked down really easily and they get sucked inside. And as you can, as you can see, I'm able to throw the ball to that corner um, relatively easily. Now I wanna show you why X-Spot is so important. So um, if you played any of Madden 22, you might know this to be true, but if I was to put this defender into a inside quarter zone, um, he would basically always match the number three receiver in any trips formation. Okay, um, and so the problem that that causes is doubles and sale is a really good corner route to run basically like this, but because he's able to match the number three receiver every time, it makes it all, almost impossible to complete this, especially against a good player. The reason that it's important to have a play like X spot is now they can't just say, well, I'm gonna man up the number three receiver or just say like, I'm gonna inside quarter the safety um, and take the number three receiver away from you. So they can't do that. And it limits what they can do from an adjustments perspective to be able to have to, that it forces them to have to respect everything that you can do uh, from your playbook. So this is uh, Tampa two out of the uh, 335 wide. And what you'll see here is this cloud flat will suck down. I can pass lead that upfield. And as you can see, that's still gonna get about 30 yards down the field, which is a great depth for a corner route. The next piece of this is something that you can do. Um, you can do this on the wide side or the short side. It, it's kind of up to you, but it's something that I really like to do. Um, and it's attacking a cover two. One of the best coverages you will see next year is a cover three cloud. Basically looks like this. Um, this deep half is gonna do a decent job at stopping uh, like a tight end streak. And then um, you'll be able to play cover two to the short side where the cloud is less susceptible to getting you know burned over the top. So as you can see, um, you know this is basically my play art, got a double flat to the left, got a three rec for the middle of the field, and then my user, okay? What I like about the play uh, PA slot corner is I have this nice deep corner route to the tight end. And what I can do is I can just simply streak the running back and then on the back side of this play, I could do a number of different things. One of my favorite things is just do something like this. And what you will see with this is this streak will clear out the deep zone and this corner route will get over the top of a cloud. So we're able to attack the deep corners on both sides of the field. It's what makes trips so good every single year. Um, and the ability to do this with corner routes is really important. The last little piece of this video that I wanted to talk about is man-to-man. -man. And the reason is because man-to-man -man press in Madden 23 is really, really, really effective. And they're going to basically be able to put a purple zone on one side of the field, if not both sides of the field. So against trips, we might do something like this. 
where we put a purple zone over there to stop that corner route to that sideline. Okay, so what we can do with our play is go to the play verticals that has this tight end on the sharp cutting corner route. And why this can be helpful is I also have this deep crosser. That's a pretty good little man to man beater. And then I can kind of craft some man, uh, some man reads off of this, such as a, you know, maybe a motion slant to this receiver that still gives me a threat of a corner route from one of these two interior guys. And then, you know, maybe something like a, a you know, I probably just option route or block the back, whatever. But you'll see this corner route from the tight end is got to have a zone over there for it to be guarded. Um, so that is the benefit of something like verticals, something like PA counter go in your arsenal if you're going to be running trips tight end, because now I can attack the deep corner on the left and I can attack the deep corner on the right. And, you know, let's say, you know, I could do something as simple as a running back um, option route, motion them over uh, so they can't use the inside quarter on that guy. You know, do something like this. Maybe if I have a outside apprentice, do a post or a deep in route. Okay, something simple. But the main thing I want to showcase is how good this corner route is to the tight end, how consistently that's going to be able to beat man to man. You need to have consistent man beaters in your offense because in Madden 23, press man is one of the best coverages in the game. So I can attack the deep sidelines on both sides. I can also beat man to man with the corner route this year. It's why it's one of the most important routes in the game. If you want to learn more about trips tight end, make sure you join our Patreon. We're going to have a trips tight end ebook in Madden 23. We had one in Madden 22. We had one in Madden 21. If you want to get both access to both of those, join the Patreon and it'll help you kind of prepare for Madden 23 here in a few days. Whenever we release all of our content, you'll also be able to get access to all of our Madden 23 ebooks as soon as we release them, as long as you're a Patreon member. Thanks for watching. And again, if you want to join the Patreon, it's only $10. Make sure you uh, head down to the description, click the link down below to sign up for that. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.